Funny how life is. You expect the students at a university to be respectful, and somehow I still ended up with this case on my desk. It was a day like any other day, until he walked in. Said he was an RA in McMaster Hall. I recognized him. I'd seen his face before. Said that someone had been tearing down floor rep posters in the elevators. Said it was a big deal. Said he thought it was someone from Derrick Hall, maybe even Flora Cowan. But I didn't believe that for a second. See, when my gut has a feeling, I listen. And my gut told me it was an inside job. I began by scouting the floor reps for any suspicious behavior. Unfortunately, the dirty laundry I uncovered was not of the useful variety. I decided to call on a friend of mine, owed me a favor from a while back. He thought his girlfriend was up to something whenever he was away on business. Got some Turns out she was watching Game of Thrones without him. It wasn't a pretty case. If anyone could make him talk, it was him. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. MCMPD, I got some questions for you. Alright ma'am, what's your name? Kristen. Kristen what? Scott. Wrong! It's Kristen Nicole Scott. You're on treading on thin ice. When were you born? When was I born? Yeah, when were you born? 1994. What day? 26th. What month? December! Boxing day, baby. Okay, last question. What's your favorite color? Purple, duh. Well, that's stupid. You're stupid. Ah! What's your full name? Uh, Brian Michael Orbeck. Full name, Tanner Gary George Milligan. My full name is Nicholas William Joseph Gerard. And what's yours? Uh, Fork? When were you born? June 17th, 1998. March 20th, 1997. I was born October 12th, 1997. Uh, 1965, Germany. What's your favorite color? Jeez. Purple. Why is this relevant? I am asking the questions. Green. My favorite color is red. Carrot. I'm not getting anywhere with these floor ups. They've given me nothing useful. They do. I enlisted the help of an RA. It wasn't safe to do this myself.
Yun. While Sam set the trap, I confronted my lead suspect. I knew he was watching my investigation take place. I didn't know if he knew that I knew, but he was about to find out. He told me he was trying to find the best spot to read the newspaper. I told him that was bullpucky. The Zed students don't read. He told me he was catching up on the Busu election. I didn't trust him. Little did I know I had pegged the wrong man. While I was busy confronting an innocent student, disaster struck. I told him to stop. If only he had listened. No one saw it coming. The man who came to me for help, just trying to cover his own tracks. It's sad, really. He ended up on crutches for a few weeks. Should have been happy I only shot him in the leg. He tried to sue me, till I reminded him he still owed me for the job. Dropped the charges after that. The Quill interviewed me about the case. He spelled my name wrong. The article said he was charged $500 in vandalism fines. I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is that you shouldn't spell 100 with a silent Z. I wish I could have relaxed after that, taken a day off. But that's just not the cards for a private investigator like me. I had another case on my hands before the end of the day. It was a big one, too. Two girls, a floor rep, and an RA had gone missing. It was up to me to find them. But that's another story. A story that started like any other day. Until he walked in.